When is a case not a case? When it's a frame. In January 2022, EVG announced that they were going to release a special limited edition computer. It was going to have a bespoke carbon fiber frame with a motherboard that was mounted in the air by wires. It was going to have their new upcoming 3090 Ti Kingpin edition. It was going to have their Z690 Kingpin motherboard. It was going to have the new AIO that they were developing. This was going to be something truly special. But everything kind of went sideways for them. The 3090 Ti Kingpin, like all the other 3090 Ti's, got delayed for months. In fact, the Kingpin didn't even come out until early July. The Z690 Kingpin motherboard? Well, that's going to be old soon. Because the 13th gen Intel CPUs are coming out, which means that the Z790 dark Kingpin motherboard will be coming out soon. So everything that they had planned kind of went sideways. So fast forward to today, they still don't have the AIO, they still don't have a carbon fiber power supply, they still don't have the carbon fiber keychain, but they can at least make the case. And now they're having trouble selling the Kingpin graphics cards. When they first came out, you could tell that they were getting nervous because day one, they didn't have a power supply included, but very quickly, they included a 1600 watt platinum power supply. Now you were able to get all that for $2,500 US. Fast forward to today, only two months later, it's $1,800 and still comes with a power supply. They're having trouble moving it. They still have an inventory of Z690 dark motherboards. And again, the 790s, they're coming out in a month or two. They've got to move inventory, and they're hoping that this frame is the way that they can do it. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But if you look at the bare bones set, it's the only thing I was missing, and I really wanted one. And today we get to unbox it. So this was originally touted back in January of the, this year. And it was going to be the be all and end all case. It was going to come basically with a new AIO that they were working on. And it was going to come with the 3090 Ti and the Kingpin GP or and the Kingpin motherboard, and basically it was going to be the best of all things that EVJ has to offer. However, everything got delayed. Now, with the rapidly declining prices in GPUs, and the fact that the 12th gen of Intel CPUs is being wiped out, they've decided to launch it as number of packages, three packages in fact. Now, the best deals, if you can call it that, because they're not really good deals, are for the packages with more stuff. The bare bones, which has a lot of the components, and I can probably throw it on screen over here, somewhere. It, it's most of a computer. The problem is, I bought most of the parts already. In fact, I have all of it. So the question was, do I get this last part? And the answer was yes. Forgive this terrible setup with the light and probably terrible audio, but we make do. So let's get the unboxing underway. We'll get this garbage out of here. So I'll give them credit. Well, the box isn't fancy. It seems to have everything that's necessary to successfully and safely get this from the United States up to here in Canada. So, there. So, in here we have the actual case frame thing. And I imagine in here we have some of the accessories. So they have their usual EVGA tape. Hello, Peeve. This is my pet Peeve. So we have the tape. Now I like the uh, the embossing here, so it's a little bit uh, not embossed. Whatever the opposite of embossed is, the EVGA logo. Open this up. Okay. So what we have here, nicely packaged, at least presented, and a lot of cardboard. So I respect the fact that where they could, they went with cardboard. So these are going to be the feet. We get four feet for the computer. So it's a little bit rubberized and then plastic 
You can see here that it is the feet. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Next, oh, this is terrifying. Don't tell me I'm going to have to do all of this. So we have uh, M3 by 10 mil screws, 10 piece package. Uh, M3 by 6 mil flathead screws, 10 piece package. Uh, M3 by 6 mil screw 20 piece package. We have a tiny little Allen key and a tiny little Allen key. And then we have what appears to be four steel cables. And I'm hoping I don't have to install them. So four steel cables. Uh, they, they look good, but again, I'm hoping I don't have to install them. So we'll put this away for now, so we don't lose any of these tiny little things. And the feet. Well, I may put the feet on sooner rather than later. Okay, put that off to the side. Close the knife. Safety first. Okay. So inside the box, we have a nice, tightly packed with foam. So we're just going to put it down on the floor, so it's a little bit easier to pick up onto my kitchen table. So we have some really robust foam, probably about five inches thick. Nice and firm, nothing's going to be impacting that, pardon the pun. Make sure we're in frame. Okay, and the next part, I think, we can just... Oh, that's super light. Let's see. Okay, we'll put this here for the time being. And the last thing in the box... And the last thing in the box is the analog gauge set. So everything looks nice here. Again, we have the EVGA tape. Okay, let's go through the analog gauge set now. So there's more in it than just that. Because we're going to need all of our cables. So what we have here is the PCIe 4.0 X-16 riser cable. Now you'll notice it's a short cable because it's specifically lengthened for this, uh, this build. Uh, this is one of our brackets. This is the rear bracket for doing the 3090 Ti Kingpin install. Uh, USB connector, connect in front of the case. Uh, HD audio connector. Vertical plate, again, for connecting the GPU. This is the front panel connector. This is going to be our USB type C extension to connect the motherboard to the front of the case our USB type C splitter connection uh, just says USB extension times two which I think is actually better than what I'm currently using which is maybe uh, and then this looks to be a grommet for the vertical this is the vertical cushion for the case so we open up the next step here nice fold out we have our build guide and that is what we're here for, the analog gauge cluster. So let's see here. So let's see. So the actual gauge cluster itself, well protected, looks to be actually super high quality. It's got some weight to it. This might weigh as much as the case itself. Let's move this over here. So in here we have the USB 2.0, headphone jack, microphone jack, reset button type C, EVGA power cable. We have our analog gauges. Now these are digital feed, so now these are digital feed. So don't uh, don't get the, the thinking that it's some sort of pure analog. I've seen some people that thought that. Uh, so GPU temperature, CPU temperature, and ambient temperature. Now this is read off of software that you install into the computer. Uh, so it's just going to mimic that. Once you have the case installed, it'll actually start registering. You can even use it just on, as software on the system. Uh, the back of it, so, oh, what's this? A little bit of dirt, but yeah, 
Is that so just some dirt? That's fine. Oh, again, one of the connectors. This is for the meter, so this is going to be a USB 2 connector. Uh, the Type C is going to connect here. We have our front, uh, our front connector, USB connector, the meter, uh, and audio. So maybe that goes in there. That might actually make sense. We'll see that in the instruction manuals. Uh, it clamps on to the bottom of the carbon fiber chassis. Uh, and again, we have some rubber inside here, and it's a spring mechanism, so it'll give a little bit of pressure without risking any damage. So let's take a better look at the actual frame itself. And now for the big unveiling. So this here is apparently handcrafted and it already looks amazing. So yeah, carbon fiber looks great. Looks like uh, exactly what you'd expect for hand laid. There's a small imperfection there, We're talking trivial stuff, especially since it's handcrafted. So let's keep bringing this down. All right, so right now you're looking at the back of the case. Fortunately, I was worried about these cables and I had to put them on, but it looks like they just send spare cables. Because this, this is all, this is all put together. Or at least pretty close to it. So these, okay, so we're gonna do some measurements because I think I might be able to do this as a push-pull configuration. At least that's the hope. That would be good. Now, take it all the way out here. Should I have a good idea? We're going to put it in here for now. So let's get this all untwined. Actually, maybe I won't. So we know that this costs too much money, but what do you get for too much money? Not a lot of case. There's obviously no glass panels. Uh, this is an open air case, but this is the first chance I've had to actually see how it's going to look. Uh, if you look at any of the photos, they made no sense, or the, the renderings. So what do we have as far as construction goes? We have the carbon fiber frame. These brackets are made out of metal, and this is what we're going to mount the AIO's radiator to for the 3090 Ti Kingpin. Again, it looks like there might be enough room for push-pull configuration, but we're still going to have to get cables around, so we're going to have to see about that. Uh, the top, again, looks like it might have enough space, but until we have an opportunity to actually measure it out and mount up, we're not going to know for sure. So this is metal. This is metal. These appear to be a hard plastic that holds it in place, so they're just screwed in with an Allen key. Uh, this bracket back here, so this bracket back here is where we're going to hook up our 1600 watt uh, EVGA power supply. So it'll rest in, uh, there's a couple screw points back here for it to get screwed into, rest here again, and it'll be locked in. There's, so there's no screw port here, it is literally just affixed there and rests on here. And the cables have very short runs, so we're going to probably have to look at getting some cable mod cables because there's nowhere to hook up to. But these standoffs give just enough room between the motherboard and the back, where we and this is all metal, so we can probably hook up some um, some cable ties and then just have it hang there. So we'll be able to get some distance, keep the run short. So if we if we hang uh, put one here or somewhere along up here, maybe right in between these two screws. Uh, it'll keep the cables for the motherboard and the CPU power supplies because, again, it runs around this way on the Kingpin uh, Z690. Uh, so it should be able to keep a fairly short run. Uh, the, G or the, the cables for the Kingpin, are you coming back to help again, Peeve? The cables for the Kingpin are going to come around the side. Now, they're going to be way too long as well, so we'll probably try and tie them back, but there's not going to be a lot of room up here, because again, this is a big power supply. It's much bigger than most, so like even my 1300 watt power supply from Seasonic, is, it only comes to about here. It's about 40% shorter. So yeah. Thanks for joining us here today. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. If you did and you'd like to see more, we will probably put the video of the unboxing of the 3090 Ti Kingpin Edition over here. I think there's some benchmarks included with that. We've got some other content probably over here for you to check out. And hopefully we'll see you back soon. Take care. You go home now!